guys, my name is Ray Hilton and I'm the senior pastor of the First Presbyterian Church in Evanston, Illinois. And I'm just grateful that I have this opportunity on a daily basis to encourage tons and tons of people to know and love God and to help a lot of families get stronger and get better at what they're called to do, which is to love each other, care for their kids and be a witness for Christ in their community. And I'm Judy Hilton. I'm a marriage and family therapist here in Evanston, Illinois. And I find such joy in helping couples, especially married couples, who are struggling uh, to, to work together as a couple. And also, I work with children and young adults, and I feel that this is a calling that I have. And I thank God for this opportunity to share with you today. So we just came through a season of Thanksgiving, and uh, it was very different, right? All across the country, people were being encouraged to, to limit the size of their Thanksgiving dinner groups and we um, had a very different Thanksgiving, didn't we, Judith? Sure it was. It was pretty much just three of us, my yeah. wife and I and our, ch our oldest child. Normally, we have a much bigger group, sometimes up to 15, 20 people. But because of the coronavirus pandemic, we just decided, look, we're going to play it safe. We're going to abide by the, the guidelines, the health guidelines that we're hearing. And so we didn't have it, but we still had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And, you know, for us, Thanksgiving is not just a day. Thanksgiving is not even just a season. What we try to do is to make Thanksgiving a way of life. And that's what we wanted to talk with you about today. What connection does Thanksgiving have to do with a healthy growing marriage? And some of the happiest people that I know who are married is not because they live in Beverly Hills or they drive the fanciest car or they have a big seven figure um, bank account, nothing like that. Some of the happiest people, married people that I know are people who know how to give thanks. Yes. And Judith, I was wondering, for the sake of our friends, why is gratitude, thanksgiving, so important for a healthy, happy, growing marriage? Well, well, when I think about thanksgiving, I think about the fact that you are taking your eyes off yourself ah. and putting it on, could be God, the people around you, people who you care about, even people who you don't even care about. Sometimes uh, they might have, might have done something for you that was um that when you look back you say you know i need to thank god for that person or that's that 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 thing yeah so when you're giving thanks definitely selfish people don't, don't give thanks <laughs> no, right no. <laughs> they thank themselves <laughs> instead of looking at the other person or god or other situations and being thankful for it but the other reason why i think thanksgiving is important is because there's a lot of scientific study that's been done to show what gratitude does to the human spirit, what it does yes. to the brain, what it does to your attitude. And so often what happens in unhappy marriage, in an unhappy marriage, is that people are so negative. They're negative about everything. They complain about everything. And if you live in an environment where there's a lot of harping and complaining and bitterness, that marriage is going to be harmed. Judith, you love the Proverbs. Do you remember that verse in the Proverbs that talks about... Uh, complaining and bad attitude in a home? Well, well there's one about uh, the woman who uh, uh, whines or complains. Uh -huh. It's like the constant dripping of rain, like nag, 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 nag. Yes. <laughs> so that's one. Yes, so that's one. And, and the, what, I, what I like and I don't like about that verse. So here's what I like about that verse. First of all, it's true. But what I don't like about that verse is that it gives the impression that it's only the Women. woman <laughs> yes, who is true. nagging and complaining and she's like the dripping rain. <laughs> yes. That verse could also say that the husband who nags and yes. complains is yes. like a dripping rain, yes. just constantly, yes. constantly. And that's bad for your yes. marriage. And so we want to encourage you today mm -hmm. to make Thanksgiving not just a day, not just a season, but a lifestyle for you and your spouse. And the way to do that is to find ways to give thanks. Yes. And don't just wait till big things happen, but to give thanks even for little things. Yes. And so, Judith, I'm going to start with my list and you then share some of the things you're thankful for. So here's what we do, what I do at home. I'm always thanking my wife for just about everything that she does, whether it is something as simple as do you want a cup of tea? And I would say, thank you. And why am I saying thank you? Because she's being thoughtful at that point. I thank her so much for being the mother of our children and being, you know, one of the things I think about my wife is that she is a tenacious, she's a fighter, she's resilient, she's strong. 
And I'm thankful for that because there have been days when I've not been tenacious. There have been days when I've been weak and I've been ready to throw in the white towel and Judith would say, don't you dare. <laughs> and she gets me up and gets me going and she believes in me when I don't have belief in myself. So I, I try to thank her constantly every day uh, for all those things and more for her unconditional love for me. <laughs> and so I express those words of thanks, not just at a season though, this is something we do year round. And what, what that positivity does is that it lifts the mood and the attitude in our marriage. Well, thank you so much for saying that, honey. I yes, appreciate that. Yes, you are very welcome. Well, I'm thankful for, for, I always say, the humility. It's a model for me. That's an example that somebody is so humble and doesn't seek any praise for themselves. I'm thankful also for the fact that you help, you love to vacuum. <laughs> And so you have to do up to vacuum and, and so that I don't necessarily particularly have a, a fun doing and doing dishes. Yes, I mean, doing I, a I dishwasher, doing dishes. you're always doing dishes. So um, I, I am thankful for those things, but also for the fact that you're a, a man of integrity, mm. faithful to me. That means a, a lot. I have no reason to feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. because I, I, I feel uh, safe, secure yeah. in this marriage. So your faithfulness, and I think that's a, for me, that's a, a big thing. And then thankful for your love for God. That is number one. Yeah. Just your love for God. Yeah. Uh, it really speaks, uh, speaks a lot to me. Yeah. So thank you, Judith. So we've never, ever done any scientific studies, data gathering or anything. It'll be interesting to know how many times in a day we say thanks or we express gratitude to each other. Just those positive words. And I'm wondering if you would join us in doing that. If you would begin today, if you're in the habit of saying, oh, but you didn't do this, you didn't do that, to begin to check yourself and begin to say, but you did do this, and I thank you for that. Because, you know, no marriage is perfect. And what gratitude does, as Judith said, it takes you out of yourself to focus on the other person and the good things that are going on and to express thanks. Yes. So I want to challenge you to make Thanksgiving not a day, not a season, but a way of life and just watch what that positive attitude will do to strengthen and to grow your marriage all right so god bless you that's what we want to talk to you about today and look if you've never subscribed to our channel if you'd like to subscribe to our channel we encourage you to do that we feel that what we're going to bring to you every week is going to challenge and encourage you to grow your marriage all right so god bless you and you have a great day